a little bit later. And those cars, they're really flashy, but they're mostly just normal cars with fancy paint jobs, you know? They got a good stylist. That's about it. Something like Jurassic Park was kind of tricky uh, because Jurassic Park is, of course, not a real place. We all know that. But Steven Spielberg wanted people to feel like it could be. Steven Spielberg wanted every detail of Jurassic Park to feel as realistic as possible, and that included the cars. So he went to the Mercedes-Benz company for help, and he had them design Jeeps and Land Rovers, and even more specialty vehicles, all for the original Jurassic Park trilogy. So not just that very first movie, but also uh, the sequels. Like for The Lost World, they built... This is called the Mobile Lab Unit. It's an RV with a science lab inside it so they could go out in the field. They explain it in the movie. And in this scene, an angry mama T-Rex is pushing our mobile lab over the side of a cliff. Oh, it's very, very scary. Uh, you don't have to be that scared though. The cliff you're looking at is actually one of the parking structures up in the front of our front lot with a lot of plants glued to it. So we did it right here on the property. Uh, everybody was close by. The RV itself is maybe the only RV in history that's made mostly out of plywood, light materials. Uh, because with a scene like this, they're doing multiple takes. That just means that they do it over and over. They want to make sure they get it right. And so they wanted it to be nice and light. It's attached to cables so that they can pull it up and down. And then here's the really scary part. Oh, she falls down so scary. That was in reverse. Julianne Moore actually has a rope tied around her waist. They pulled her up. And then they sped up the footage and played it in reverse so it looked like she was falling. Very, very scary. Uh, and now we are heading into... Yeah, she's fine. We're heading into the Jurassic Park section of our back lot. We've got big vehicles here. There's the motorboat on the right from uh, Jurassic Park 3. Here comes the mobile lab on the left. This is the RV we were just looking at in that scene. In addition to our big vehicles, we've also got these storage containers and dinosaur cages. Now, the dinosaur cages kind of make me laugh a little bit because in real life, dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. We're not actually worried about something like a donut in the bushes. Look out! They were supposed to be extinct. I don't know what happened. Oh, it's so scary. We have to go as slow as possible so everyone can get good pictures. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. If you're in the back of the tram, you don't need to be scared. The dinosaurs are fake. Just in case anyone couldn't tell. The dinosaurs are fake, the cars are fake, like half the trees right here are made out of styrofoam. We're in Hollywood, guys. Nothing's real here. Our driver, Nick, is animatronic, and you didn't even notice. Yeah, see? They did a good job. Another thing that's almost always fake in the movies is the weather. If you're watching a movie and you see rain or fog or snow on screen, the film crew is making that happen. Almost guaranteed. Because Mother Nature doesn't work on cue. The good news is... Weather effects are really easy.